Hello uh, everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so we were talking about algebraic closure on Monday, and I still have a couple of things to say. So, um, so let's recall the definition. A field is algebraically closed if every polynomial has a root. So, um, well, it's a big theorem that the complex numbers are algebraically closed. Um, and then the other thing I showed on I showed on Monday is that if you take the complex numbers and inside of them you take only the complex numbers which are algebraic. Uh, remember, being algebraic means being the root of some polynomial. In this case, being algebraic over Q is what we're talking about. Then you also get a field. Uh, we prove that. So you add algebraic numbers, you get algebraic numbers. Um, and this field is also algebraically closed. So, so that's two examples. Um, I guess non-examples, I should say. Basically, everything else you can think of is not going to be algebraically closed. Not that there's no other examples, but I haven't seen them yet. Um, the real numbers, the rational numbers. <clears throat> Both of these have no roots of, of x squared plus one. Uh, so they're not directly closed. All right, so the first thing I wanna show today um, is this very, very easy proposition. Um, a field F is algebraically closed <clears throat> if and only if every polynomial factors into linear factors. Into the degree, so linear means degree one. I guess that's true of a constant as well. I would say a constant is the multiple of zero many linear factors. Um, <clears throat> so, so I'm saying these two are equivalent. So I have to prove. One implication that if you're algebraically closed, then everything factors, and the reverse implication that if everything factors, uh, then you're algebraically closed. Um, so let's let's say if F is algebraically closed, um. You have to show that every polynomial factors into linear factors. Um, let F be a polynomial. Um, well, I mean, it has to factor into something. Um, we know we know the polynomial ring over any field. Whether algebraically closed or not, is a U of D. So F factors into irreducibles. Um, let's call them G1. So what is the degree of these polynomials. Well, um, we want to show that it's one. If it's one, then we're done. We, we factor it into linear factors. <clears throat> um, well, um, let's just use the one thing we know, the, the one thing we know about F uh, that we haven't used. If F is algebraically closed, I haven't used that yet. I just factored it into reducibles. 
which I can do over every field in the universe, not just algebraic closed fields. So um, G is so so for every I, G I is irreducible. Um, and since uh, the field is algebraically closed, it has a root. So this means you know, we know what it what it means when a polynomial has a root. Um, it means that x minus alpha divides it. If, you, if, you, if, if f of two is zero, that's going to be the same as saying that x minus two is the divisor of your polynomial. <clears throat> so it's reducible, but I found a factor. Uh, how could that be? Um, well, the, the only way, you know, if you have a prime number and you found a factor, that means that your factor is either a unit or the prime number, plus minus the prime number. Here, the only, the only factors that G has are constants, and this is not a constant, or basically G itself up to a constant. <clears throat> because it can't have other factors. So um, so the degree is one. And we're done. I've showed I've taken a polynomial, I've factored it into things, and I've shown that th all those things have degree one. Could have gone by contradiction. Could have said, what if the degree wasn't one? Then it would be a contradiction because it's irreducible and it has a root, but there is really no need for that. So, so that's um, so that takes care of really close of this part. Um, so now we're going to show in the next page. We're going to show the if part. So if every polynomial factors into a linear factors, um, then then the field is algebraically closed. Um, Every polynomial factors, let's say completely, because it's the, the factors are as small as they can be. Uh, this means that F is algebraically closed. Uh, so let's prove this. <clears throat> so I need to show, what do I need to show? I need to show that F is algebraically closed. That means um, I need to show that every polynomial has a root, um, unless it's a constant. So what do I know? Um, well, I'm saying assume every polynomial factors completely. So this means I can write f as some constant and then a bunch of the V1 polynomials. And I could I can just make the monic by pulling that constant out. So does this polynomial have a root? I'm gonna give you a second to answer that. Yes, it has a root. Um because Clearly, all of his factors have roots. It has n many roots, um, which is the, the most. Uh, we, we've shown this at the beginning of the course. Uh, a polynomial of degree n over a field can have a most n roots, um, and every polynomial over an algebraically closed field has n roots. If you, well, 
you know, they could repeat. This could be just x minus one to the three. But if you count them with multiplicity, it has all the possible roots it could have. <clears throat> all right. So irreducible polynomials over an algebraic proposed field, such as the complex numbers are just degree one polynomials, and everything factors into those. Um, so the other thing, not, not a lot more things I want to say about algebraic proposed fields. Um, Another thing I want to show um, if F is algebraically closed and it has an algebraic extension, then what's really so something is really happening uh what's happening is that we didn't extend anything at all the only way to have an algebraic extension of an algebraically closed field is by not doing anything and every other extension that you can never find is transcendental and it's i guess I guess I've only talked about, I haven't said what the opposite of algebraic is. Maybe it's not transcendental, but what I mean is that absolutely every element in the extension that's not in F is gonna be a transcendental element. So um, how do we prove this? Let alpha be in this algebraic extension. Um, so I need to show that it's in F. So what I can do is I can, well, I know it's algebraic. The extension is algebraic. The minimal polynomial of alpha over F must be an irreducible polynomial. In of course, it's the minimal polynomial where a field has coefficients in that field, uh, and we've shown that the minimal polynomial is irreducible. So, what could it be? Um, uh, well, we've just shown that all the irreducibles have to be one because uh, f is not directly closed. Um, and if it's a real one, I, I could say it's money. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could just multiply by a unit. So it is X minus alpha. It's the only polynomial that has alpha as a root. But now I'm saying if X minus alpha has coefficients in F, that, that just means that alpha itself is in F. So I said, if you take anything in the extension, I've just shown that it's actually not in the extension. It's in the field. Uh, so, so I'm done. So the complex numbers, the only way to find a field extension of the complex numbers is to add transcendental stuff to it, which is the same as just, from the point of view of a field, it's just the same as adding variables. Um, just the field of rational functions is basically the only thing you can do there. <clears throat> All right. Um, and then finally, I'm going to follow the book and say, um, and say this. Um, this theorem and not prove it. Every field has a unique algebraic closure. So this is independent from the fundamental theorem of algebra. It's not saying, it tells you that the, the rational numbers have an algebraic closure, but 
this is a purely algebraic thing. It does, it's not telling you that the, the algebraic closure of the rationals, you can find it already inside the complex numbers. It's just saying it's there somewhere. Um, so I'm not going to prove this, but I mean, the book also says it's not very hard. It's just, you know, you know how to add a root of a given polynomial to a field. So what you got to do is take a field that you want to construct the algebraic closure of, take a polynomial that has uh, no root over it, uh, and add a root. So you have a field extension. And then you take another polynomial that has no roots and add a root to it. And, and keep doing that until you're done, basically. So the reason why this isn't completely obvious, even though what we know is that there's infinitely many polynomials, probably, that you have to check. So I mean, you have to you have to be careful. You have to figure out this um, infinite problem somehow, and that just uh, gets into more set theory than algebra, honestly. In the end, and then there's the uniqueness problem, which there's also the problem of algebraic closures normally being infinite. But um, I mean, you also I don't know what I'm uh, I, I mean, the next section, we're going to talk a lot more about um, this uniqueness of expansions business. So for example, uh, there's a field F2 bar, which is the algebraic closure of, of Z2. So Every polynomial in Z2 has an, has a root there. And well, it's algebraic closed. There's, there's an algebraically closed field of really any characteristic. You do this for any prime. Uh, I mean, then we have a whole chapter on this, so <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see in the next chapter. All right, I'm gonna put a cut there and then come back for the next section.